If you're under 13 years old, you must make sure you have your parents or guardians permission to watch this video. The content in this video is family friendly, but data may be collected by YouTube for advertising purposes. Hello and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video with me, Foxy No Tail, here on the Super Chunk Block Survival World at the cobble generator that we made in the last video, which was our first video on this world. And that is actually going live tomorrow of all days. Now I've got myself a whole handful of blocks here, and I'm going to be trading those with the Wandering Trader when they come about a little bit later on. But that is not the main plan for today. The main plan for today is hopefully to wrangle ourselves a villager. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to get a zombie villager, hopefully, and cure them with a yeah golden apple and the potion of weakness, and then turn them into a villager. That's the plan. Whether or not we'll actually manage to do that or not, I don't know. Before we get cracking, though, I do want to say, if you downloaded this map or you were interested in this map or this game or this world, whatever we want to call it, you can download it from foxynotel.com. And I have updated it. I have updated the pack so that, yeah, lot, not much has changed. Spawning for some particular things like foxes that were absolutely everywhere has been changed. I've made it so the Wandering Trader has uh, slightly better deals and will um, yeah offer more deals at once rather than being so limited. And a handful of other fixes and things like that as well have been added. So yeah, if you're interested in playing this, head over there now and you can download the updated version. Change log and patch notes are on the website as well if you're interested to see what has changed. And it looks like whoever's base that is, that person over there has got a little cow farm. It looks like they've also got a mob farm. Perhaps we could pinch that in order to get ourselves a zombie villager. But before we do that, we need to get prepared. We're going to need an apple. We're going to need some gold. And we're going to need some splash potions of weakness, which means we're going to need a potion brewing stand, which means really we need to be going to the nether. And yeah, look at me. I've not even got any armor. I've got a bit of chicken, which I stole from the community area. And that's all I've got. So let's get prepared. Okay, so to make a potion of weakness, we're going to need a fermented spider eye, which is a spider eye with one brown mushroom and a piece of sugar. Now, we can easily get sugar. I'm not worried about that at all because we've got massive sugar. Oh, in fact, we've got sugar cane there, so we can do that. But we do need a brown mushroom, which we don't have. Now, I have got a blaze rod, which I actually got from somewhere else. We also need gunpowder to make it splash potion. And we're going to need some glass in order to make bottles. So we've, we've got a reasonable amount of this already. In fact, we can already make ourselves a brewing stand. But we're going to need we're going to need blaze powder to actually power it, and we're going to need obviously, yeah, the, the the other stuff. So we still need blaze stuff. We still need a brown mushroom. So let's see if we can make ourselves a little chest just to put all the things we're going to need for this in here. So let's grab some wood. Let's turn it into planks. Let's turn it into a chest. Chest, and this can be our zombie villager chest. We need gunpowder. We're going to need nether wart as well. I never thought about nether wart. Let's grab ourselves our sugar. Let's put our glass in there. In fact, let's turn that into glass bottles already. We might as well. Let's have a three of them. We might as well make three. We're going to need a golden apple. Again, we'll make three of them, but we haven't got much gold. So we're going to need to do some trading with the wandering trader if we manage to find them. Or Wilfred, as he's known, in order to do those trades. So let's grab our cobble. Let's keep that out somewhere safe. And hopefully we've got enough there to do a decent amount of trading. I'm going to grab some stone. I've got some stone tools on me. We're going to head into the nether. We're looking for a brown mushroom. And we're looking for a nether. Yeah, blaze stuff. Now, there will be stuff over at the community area. And I can take it. It would be absolutely fine if I did. But I kind of... There's certain things I want to do myself, you know. So, uh, yeah, I don't want to just go around pinching those. A lot of people have been building. People are getting on. Doing some good things. And one of the things I do want to do in an episode at some point is organize this area and move all of this junk out of the middle and move it somewhere exciting. But look at all this. People have been busy gathering stuff. Is there anything we can take actually for our for our plan? Oh look, there's brown mushrooms there. So we can take the brown mushroom if we don't find any in the nether. That's fine. We've got some cheeky armor we can pinch to keep ourselves a little bit more, you know sorted out so let's put that on there that's useful oh, we didn't get a chest plate let's grab a chest plate wow lots of mycelium and dirt in there loads of ink sacks i guess we've had a few issues with squids so at the end of the day if the worst comes to the worst and we can't get the stuff that we need from the nether we're still covered here for the rest of the ingredients we need oh there's more blaze rods there as well look but i want to i want to be self-sufficient to a degree i want to be able to do this myself so let's go on a little journey and see what we can do and here we are in the nether. 
And there's chests in the nether already. I've no idea where the fortress is or anything people have already been exploring, obviously. Uh, so let's see. <laughs> we don't necessarily need a fortress for blazes, but that's cert certainly going to be the easiest place to find them. So let's have a wander about. We're going to be careful. We don't have much armor. We're going to do our best to find the blaze fortress made. Now, the reason I want to get myself a villager is because one of the things from this particular mod pack is the uh, is the new type of villager that I've added, which is very, very useful for getting certain items and building blocks. And I really, really want that villager so that we can progress nice and quickly. Uh, if we've got one of those, that's going to save us a lot of problems in the future. And it looks like potentially down there is a nether fortress. So let's head that way. Oh, man. I don't Have I got feather falling on these boots? No. So I can't even drop down there. Oh, man. We go the long way round, mate. Blaze spawner. Oh, well, that's handy. We'll just... Oh, if I smash that, though, that's that's going to make... Uh, I need more... Oh, I can't make glowstone because I... Oh, man, we're going to need more glowstone if I do that. Let's see if I can find another one because obviously someone's working on that and I don't want to go smashing the, uh, <laughs> the blaze stuff. The glowstone because I don't have a... I don't... Oh. Don't have a way to put it... What? This is weird. This uh, it's all kind of weird. This never never hub. It goes upstairs. All oh, the nether warts gone. Look now, wow! Whoever's been to clear this place out wasn't wasn't very thoughtful about other people coming back. Always replant a bit when you uh, when you go and do it. If you're playing on a multiplayer server and you if you come across nether wart in a fortress, bear in mind other people will want to get it as well. So always replant a little bit away or leave some behind. That is the polite thing to do. Hello, chaps. Hello. It's Fogs in Hotel wearing rubbish armor and coming to chop you with my stone sword. I got one like you, mate. We've got, we're matching luck. Wow, amazing. Hey, guys. Wouldn't it be great if I got a wither skull from <laughs> with, my, with my rubbish stone sword? Come on. I can't reach you. You can. Come over here. Come on. You can do this. Why are you hanging back? There we go. Wow, I got some coal. Oh, and a black bit as well. Very useful. Very useful indeed, those black bits. And that kind of brings us why we want these uh, whoa, villagers in the first place. And I am not doing very well there. I don't think I can afford to take another hit like that anytime soon. Let's hang back. Regen. We got a blaze rod from that. So we're doing all right. Could do with a couple more. One will be fine though. Jump. Jump. Come on. Ah! How did you get me from there? Cheating. You are. Shooting through my barricade. It's not fair. Calling hacks, mate. Ah! Whoa. <laughs> I don't have good enough armor to take you on properly. Just come over here. Please come this way. Please. <laughs> are you playing peekaboo? Are you? You are, aren't you? You're playing peekaboo. <laughs> right. Well, I don't think I'm going to get that blaze. So let's move on. Ah. Oh, that's the blaze spawner room. Okay. Well, I don't think they're in here. No, they're not in here. That's a shame. Well, technically, I've got what I need. I could do with some brown mushrooms, but like I... Oh, <laughs> speaking of which, there we go. Well, there we go. I got exactly what I needed for today from that small little bit of nether fortress there. That took absolutely no time at all. So let's go back. We'll get our potions and things ready. Hopefully, we can bump into Wilfred, who's the wandering trader, grab ourselves a... Yeah, some more gold. And then hopefully we can then make a little mob platform and hopefully get ourselves a zombie villager. That would be very, very good. Okay, so we're now adding to this our blaze rod and our mushrooms. Let's actually make our fermented spider eye now. We can do that. There we go. We have that completely covered. So we're going to need some nether warts, which we didn't get from the fortress, but I am going to pinch that from the community area just because if someone's already pinched it from there, hopefully there'll be some over here. I imagine there will be. Brewing box. There we go. Look, 64 nether wart. We'll, we'll take eight. I think eight is plenty. Right, before we do anything else, I am going to get on with actually making these potions just so that I know I've got them for when I need them. So let's pop those in there. We need a little bit of blaze powder. We need nether wart. We need a fermented spider eye and some gunpowder. Let's do this, guys. Oh, and we need to turn our blaze rod into blaze powder. There we go. Let's do this. And now the spider eye. And now the gunpowder. There we go, look. And there we go, three splash potions of weakness. Very, very good. Now, let's get on with this little mob farmy thing, which I'm going to build out of wood because I've got lots of it and I don't want to waste my cobble. 
So that's obviously a big ugly mob farm over there. I don't want to do something like that. This isn't going to be a full time one. We are going to do a mob farm later on because we're going to need one. All I want is a little space where zombies and things can spawn away from other players and other things where there aren't going to be any. So I need to build out somewhere else, really. I mean, I'm actually tempted to just build it underneath my actual house like a dark room. That might not be a bad idea, like a basement. But in order to do that, I'm going to need to get down underneath the house, <laughs> which means a bucket of water and some precarious block placing. So, hmm, maybe, maybe not. I suppose I could always just go backwards from here, but it's just more more ugliness, isn't it? Which I'm trying to avoid, but I guess, I guess that'll be okay for now. Well, what I've got doesn't look like much yet, but hopefully it will do the job. It's not going to be particularly exciting. It's not going to be particularly efficient, but hopefully it will do the job. And all it is, is basically just a dark area that I can come along to and hopefully take care of some mobs. Now, there are some things I can do to make this work better. I could maybe add some, like, water streams and things in here to push the mobs to the front, a little like a good old-fashioned, you know, mob grinder type thing. But all I want is just to come over here, hopefully a few things will spawn in it, and eventually we'll get a zombie villager. We can kill everything else off that's in here. And, uh, yeah, then just, just get that, which will be great. Okay, so I've completely surrounded this thing with blocks now. Technically, the floor's still slab, so the light could come through there. And I've just asked, uh, basically, our man if he minds turning off his mob farm, just so we can see if we're going to get any mobs spawn in this thing. The problem I have now is I can't actually see inside there to see if anything's spawned, which is not ideal. So what I might actually do is take the front of this thing, put some fence posts back in it, and then just extend the roof. Ooh, an ender chest! Fancy. Thank you. Very nice. And that parrot over there is going crazy, telling me there's a zombie around here. I think it's that there is a zombie villager trapped over there, but I'm not going to pinch that one. Mending the bows. Get as many good bows as possible. Not that one. That's already mended. There we go. Lots of good bows. Now we just need arrows. So we're just going to grab some flint. We're going to pile up on this gravel and dig it down. Nice and simple. And I just started to feel very unsafe up here. Anyway, let's hopefully not lag out and fall off. Let's hopefully get ourselves some gravel. Not gravel, flint. We want flint. Oh, we got seven pieces of flint doing that. That's not too bad. How many arrows will that make us? 28. 28 arrows. That's that's fine. That's going to be plenty for now, I think. Let's get ourselves a breaking and piercing crossbow. Is that going to be better than a bow? Oh, you know what I feel about crossbows. Not my Not my favorite thing, but we'll see. They're probably all dead now anyway. Oh no, the skeletons are still there. I don't know if we're still going to be able to get things spawning in there during the day though because the slabs on the floor let light through. One there, and what about that? Uh, oh, I just I just don't like crossbows. They're so slow and clunky. So slow and clunky. Great, that was it. That's all we got, was it? Well, I've extended the front on this thing in order to try and make it more dark in there, but you can see it's very, very light in here, and that is just because, yeah, the floor is made of slabs. So what I need to do is replace the floor with full blocks, which is going to be an absolute pain, but somebody's got to do it. And the last row to turn into just full blocks. Oh, and I've run out of full blocks, so I'm using double slabs now. And there, there we go. That's much, much darker in there. It's still quite light at the front. It's night time again. We should have a little bit better look with things spawning here at night time, but still not much. We've got a spider. No one you, spider. We want, we want zombie villagers, please. Shoo off. Give me some zombie villagers. And did you see there? We got a grey bit from that spider. Very interesting. Very interesting. Come on. Come on, zombies. Come on. You can do this. And now we've got a creeper and a skeleton. This is why we needed a bow. Can I get the creeper from there, though? No, because I'm a terrible shot. But we definitely, definitely do not want him coming this way. There you go. Get rid of you. We do not want holes in my mob farm. Thank you. We've only just built it. And man, this is a rubbish bow. And go back again. Anything now? No, not yet. And retreat. Oh, hey, they are not in the right place at all. How did you get over here? Why are we getting mobs spawning in my base? This is not what we wanted. We don't want mobs here. We want them. <laughs> we want them over there. Ah, we got something. It's another skeleton. Boo. Boo for skeletons. 
Oh, Lofty's come to say hello. Hello, Lofty. How are you doing? Hope you're okay. Got a nice fishing rod there. Hope it's a good one. He's <laughs> nodding, yeah. Yeah, I've got a good fishing rod I have. <laughs> okay, let's go have another check. We've got another skeleton. This is not what we want. We need zombies. I'm a little bit concerned. About... Oops. <laughs> ah, shoot myself. <laughs> a little bit concerned. We're not going to get any zombies. We're just going to get loads of skeletons. Oh, man. Well, while I wait for the next wave to come, I might as well stand here and get some cobblestone. And uh, I, I have done a little bit of work outside of the video uh, since the last episode. If you didn't catch the last episode, you'll have no idea what I'm talking about. But I have started working on my garden. First of all, I got rid of all the grass from down both the sides and I started to create this path. And then I built this uh, little shelter around it just so that when I'm AFK here, well, not technically AFK, when I'm not paying attention and I'm just mining the cobblestone, you know, I'm, I'm not going to have to worry about <laughs> anything sneaking up on me. So I could just sort of chill out in here. Now, technically, a skeleton could come along and try and shoot me through the glass, or a creeper could get relatively close through those, but I, I think I'll be okay. I don't think a creeper should be able to see me through the glass panes. I've not tested it, but I think I'll be all right. Well, I made a little bit of an extension to this. So now what we've got is the same thing underneath. And now we've got a platform at the top as well, which will spawn things. I've made that a little bit too big. So let's just get rid of those. And I need a gate on the front here as well. So uh, yeah, let's do that. So now that uh, Wilf is here, let's see. Are you selling gold, Wilf? No, he's selling diamonds. As <laughs> Normally I'd really want diamonds, but today I really need gold, Wilf. Oh man. I don't really want to waste my uh, cobblestone on diamonds. I know it's not really much of a waste, but it, it kind of is right now. So you can see there's a lot more trades before there was only 12 trades at a time. And now there's 22. There's a lot of trades. I don't actually need any of those things at the minute though. Well, I do need some dirt, but I'm not, I'm not, I need to save my cobble for the gold. So I'm afraid that I'll let the other guys come and see you. And then I'm going to get rid of you so we can hopefully get another wolf soon. Oh, we got a zombie, but it's not a zombie villager. Oh, we got a load of zombies. Look at that. A pack of zombies. That means they will spawn down here. And now I have made it go a little bit further back. I've expanded it. I've expanded the depth on it. Hopefully, we'll get a few things more spawning on it. Well, things are not going quite as smoothly as I hoped. So what I'm going to do is make friends with this dog and start working on my house a little bit. And then uh, when things quieten down, there's a few of us on at the moment. When things quieten down, what I might do is actually move out a lot further away and start working on my own little mob spawner. Well, speaking of zombies, um, that's not really what I was expecting. Four zombies just turning up in a perfectly well-lit area on top of some wood. <laughs> I see you don't care what blocks you spawn on, do you? You don't even need it to be dark, apparently. Right, okay. Still not zombie villagers, though. Okay, the house is coming on quite light nicely. We've got a lot of wood going on. I've gone for something relatively unusual. I don't really build like this normally, but I've basically capped it off with some spruce. And we've grown up the outsides with, yeah, with the dark oak keep going up. But I, I need to go higher than that and I need to do the tops. But it's time to, um, yeah, let's let's go and check out the mob thing place. Anyone? Anything? No, nothing. No beans. Give me the cobble. Where's the cobble? Cobble. Where's all my cobble? Oh, it's here. Okay, so let's grab a couple of stacks of cobble. Let's go and get some... And a sight. Oh, man, I'm running out of chicken. Quick, before he disappears. Quick. 32 for 16. That's not bad. You know, very nice. Thank you very much, Wilfred. What's this? This is new. Small AFK fish requires auto-click self-collection. <gasps> okay, so while I'm over here, I thought I'd check out the wool situation. There's not actually much wool. I could do with some wool for the next part of building my house. And uh, we have a few sheep, so what I might do is pinch a couple of sheep, breed them, and make myself some baby sheep over at my house so that I can get some wool. Because, as you can see, the second floor on my house is coming together nicely, and some nice white wool would look really, really good behind that dark oak. I think that'll really bring the whole thing together. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to need. And more windows, of course, as well. Inside, still very, very, very bare and blank. And I found a gold ingot on the floor out there, which is very handy. We can add that to our collection. Only five more and we can get ourselves a golden apple and then we can cure our zombie villager which we still don't have because we're still getting nothing spawned in because i don't know why 
Because too many people online making things spawn elsewhere. I mean, is we actually technically need two to breed them. So, you know, getting one's great, but we, we really need two. So, yeah, it's going to be a long process. All right, one last check before I throw this entire thing in the bin. Yeah, de definitely nothing. Now, I think the issue is that there are just too many things going wrong there spawn. There's a few people online, and I think that is probably taking up the mob cap, which is not ideal, but, you know, these things happen. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to either borrow somebody's zombie villager, which I don't think anyone's got because poor old Zet has been online and had to disable his mob farm and kill off all of his zombie villagers, because I made him feel bad, uh, <laughs> which I now feel really bad about. Well, we kind of get in there with this. Obviously, it's going to need a roof and stuff before it makes any sense. It doesn't look particularly fantastic right now, but I think once we get a roof in there, it'll start coming together and looking very nice. And obviously, once we get a, a layout inside with some rooms and things like that, I think that will look good. But for right now, I've run out of time to record today. So this isn't the end of the video, but it's certainly the end of my recording today. So I'll see you guys next time that I press the record button on this world. Bye for a minute. And I'm back. It has indeed been a few days and you may be able to tell by the quality of my voice that it is first thing in the morning for me. Now, I have a box here. I've just arrived back in my base to get a box from my friendly neighborhood, Greybeard who is also actually online, so I better say hello, because I've just logged in. Let's have a look. It is a, ooh, Fortune 3 Mending 1 Efficiency 4 pack. That's a good book. Very nice book. Thank you very much for the book. Now, I was told that while I was away, somebody managed to get a couple, one of my, one of my friendly peeps managed to get a couple of zombie villagers to spawn inside here, and they, they name-tagged them for me and rescued them for me, which is absolutely fantastic. That's going to save us a big job. There we go. Look, friend. <laughs> Was that one called friend as well? Very good. So we got the, we got all we need to get going with these villages now. And we've also, yeah, got it lit, lit up in there as well. So nothing else bad should spawn. So let's put that on there. We don't want them getting got by, uh, by the sunshine. Let's go and see if we can find that wandering... Tra there's, a par there's parrots in my gun, two of them. Let's go see if we can find a wandering trader and get some apples. Oh, not apples. We've got apples. We want gold, don't we? Spawn Island's changed. Where's all the trees gone? Now, we have been discussing in the background that we were going to, uh, yeah, expand the spawn islands and create more floating islands with different things on, like forests and things like that. And I believe that uh, the mob farm has also... But yes, the mob farm has now become a storage area. Okay. Oh, and there's trees down there, look. So I guess what I'm going to do is uh, do a little bit of uh, cobble generating, grab as much cobble as I can while I wait for Wilfred to spawn, and then cut back in when I found him. Because I think, yeah, we need, to, we need to start making some progress in this video, really. Well, there we go. I managed to get myself a few stacks of cobble there. I have broken my diamond pickaxe, though, which is a bit of a shame. So now what we need, as usual, is Wilfred. Where is Wilfred? Is he around anywhere? Is he going to be... Yeah, I, I just I just want to find him so I can get some gold. I'm sure there's probably gold in the community chests, and I know they are there for people to share, but I just feel so bad taking out the community chest when I didn't put any of the stuff in there. But let's have a look in the... Uh, to have a look in the there was a like jewels one valuables there we go look look there's 727 blocks of gold there's loads of diamonds so i could quite easy so i could quite easily just take a load of that and do this already but i i just don't like to do that you know i like to <laughs> i like to not take from the community thing because i think there's people that would probably deserve the stuff more than i would but i tell you what for the sake of getting this video out what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take two gold blocks from there and when I find Wilf later on I'm going to replace them and put them back in again because I need to get cracking with this I've already waited two days to record this video I need to get it out there so that you've got content when I go away next week so uh, I need to do this guys I'm not cheating honest I'm not stealing you're stealing aren't you no I'm not I'm sorry so I just need two golden apples that's all I need and then we got did we get a yeah we got some weakness potions look so that's good. So we need a couple of those. We probably only actually need one. Let's go and turn our villagers into villager friends and then we can start breeding them. So this could actually be our little villager house over here. We'll leave, yeah, we'll leave this, the villagers over here. This is not a mob farm anymore. This is where the villagers live. Hello, peeps. How are you doing? Yes, if you could just stand both next to each other, just there, that would be absolutely perfect. And we'll throw this on you. It's going to get me a little bit as well, but that, let's not worry about that. One of those for you and one of those for you. Very good. Now we've just got to wait for them to turn. 
And there they are, they've both been born. Now, here we go, another issue here. We have a chunk lighting issue there. Can you see that that is still very, very dark, even though there's torches there? That is because there, there is obviously a chunk border there, which is preventing that bit from being lit up. We do not want our brand new villagers getting all deaded and broken. So let's really, really light this area up and let's see what we've got here. We've got friend who sells trousers and friend who sells those. Now we do actually want a cleric and a, uh, no, we don't want an armorer. No, you're of absolutely no use whatsoever to me, sir. You are useless, you can go in the bin. But yeah, the, the cleric is definitely gonna be useful to us. Let's just, oh, I can't quite reach to put, can I put that on there? Yeah. Yeah, let's go and uh, get some beds and see if we can get those guys bred up and let's go see if we can get some more villagers because we're going to need an array of villagers. Oh, and look, speaking of villagers, we've now got pillagers. These are the other people that shouldn't be allowed in my house and I am actually tempted to turn pillager patrols off completely. Now that I've got villagers, certainly we don't want these turning up in the house because they're an absolute pain in the butt. Oh, and look, there's my, there goes my sword. There goes my sword. Now I've got Bad Omen and I don't have a cow and I can't go over near anyone else's base because people have got villagers. So I'm going to have to just like hang out here. Oh man. Yeah, I might turn pillager patrols off next time I update the server. Well, let's hope there's no villagers over at spawn because I do not want to be starting a raid. Let's hope there's no one here. I want to grab a bucket of milk. <laughs> I need to get rid of this water. Oh no, oh no, put it in all the wrong places. Oh man. Why can't I pour it in there? Oh jeez. <laughs> Accidental crop farming. I don't even want any of this. <laughs> I don't want any of this junk that I've just farmed. <laughs> Here, put it in there. There we go. Right. Now let's go find a cow. We should have some cows over here. Yes, we do. Let me drink some milk. Let's get rid of that horrible, nasty, bad omen before I start raising at anyone's base. Let's pop that bucket back in there. And let's go do some breeding. Oh, I'm going to need wool. I'm going to need wool if we're going to do some breeding. Now, I am going to pinch that from the community area because we've got sheep here, so I don't really mind too much about that. We only need enough for a few beds, so let's take one, two, three, four. Uh, that's enough for four beds. Oh, we'll just take a, a fair bit of wool. It'll be fine. I can e easily replace that. That's not a problem. Ah, just thinking about this, that accidental harvest I did I, might have come in useful, actually, because the villagers are going to need food in order to breed, aren't they? I mean, it's all right giving them a load of beds, but they're going to need food as well. So actually, I am going to come back over here and I'm going to make some food so that I can, uh, yeah, chuck it to the villagers and get them, get them breeding. Now, if anyone's interested, if you plant crops in lines like this, they will grow faster. Crops like to be in lines and it will, and I know it sounds crazy but it will actually make them grow a lot faster if you put them in lines of alternating different types of crops now i'm not going to do that for this bit because I, I got bored but those are all in lines they will grow before anything else oh there's a lot of potatoes in there we'll take those i think beetroot they'll probably eat beetroot won't they so we'll take a bit of that there's not much wheat kicking about though i thought there would be more wheat than this and there's a bit of melon but i don't think the villagers will eat melon will they so we'll take these and we'll see how we get on with that hey guys how you doing? Come to give you some food and some beds. We're gonna, we're gonna make you're gonna make babies. Basically, you're gonna be the mummy and daddy of the new villager race over at Fox's base. We're not gonna have loads, but we're gonna need a few. We've got a few different villagers that we're gonna need in order for us to do, you know, our what we're gonna be doing. So I'm just gonna pop you some beds down like that. You're welcome. In fact, each of the beds can have a, a torch above it. That's not a bad idea. Okay. Oh, and there's a great. <laughs> cat straight away fantastic right here sir oh no you don't want wheat i actually probably will take wheat but there you go there's some food grab some of that now uh pick it up and throw some of it to him or her or whoever it is do you not like beetroot and wheat really surely you like beetroot half of that beetroot's gone you must like beetroot there you go look there's 35 bread here take that and make me some babies it's not enough what do you mean it's not enough Am I gonna have to make? Oh, I don't. I ain't got time to be making automatic farms, guys. I need. I need villagers. Yeah, that's it. Throw it to each other. Make each other. Oh, another cat! Yay! Two cats. Perfect. It's just what I wanted. Loads of cats. Oh man. All right. We've got a few more beds here. Now with these beds, that should obviously enable me to get more villagers. And then I'm gonna need some workstations to get the right type of villagers. Now I'm really hoping we get a nitwit villager. That's the villager that I want the most. I mean, technically I would like more than one nitwit villager, to be honest with you. But believe it or not, the nitwits are the ones that I want. 
And they know most of the time people don't want nitwits because nitwits are useless, but on this particular map, the nitwit is probably the best villager in the game. So, uh, yeah, really hoping for that. You two know I had enough food to make one baby, really? Oh, man, I'm going to have to go do some food shopping now. Right, go into the food shop. Back in a minute, guys. Now, do I, at this point, then go and make a food farm? Because I've got probably got enough resources to do that. Like an automatic one. I don't know if we'll have enough bones. We need a lot of bone meal for my food farm. Okay, so as I'm over here crafting some more things, yet another pillager patrol has just appeared at my base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try very hard without enabling cheats to actually disable pillager patrols uh, via the server, which might be... Oh, and Wilf's outside, look. Oh, we've got Wilf here and... Oh, my goodness me. This is so annoying. And I've got technique... Oh, I can't kill him because it'll start a raid. Oh, how am I going to deal with this? Go away, pillager dude. What are you selling, Wilf? What are you selling? What have you got? You've got diamonds, no gold. But have you got anything else of any use for me? Not really at the moment. Oh, Vi Wilf. That's useless. Right, we, we're going to need a way of dealing with these pillagers. It's good. I'm just going to have to turn them off because otherwise... Yeah, if they get... If they get a raid over at their base, or if they get a patrol over their base and they, they kill a captain, it's going to start a raid at my base because the villagers... Oh, no! Oh, dear. Wilf! Oh, no. He's killed Wilf. And if you're interested in how you do that, coming over here to my little test world, uh, it's very simple. You just do... If you've got commands enabled or if you've got a server console, you do mob event and then basically the pillager patrols one, the two options there, and then false. And that will stop pillager patrols from actually spawning naturally the other one you can turn off is the wandering trader so you can stop the wandering trader appearing obviously we need the wandering trader for our uh, chunk block map but the pillager patrols should no longer spawn in anymore which is great right that doesn't actually help me get rid of this dude we've still got this guy here and he's too close to our villages to deal with now so really what i need is like a bucket of lava or a flint and steel a flint and steel would be good have i got any flint no, I don't have any flint. Let's go and grab some flint and steel and we're going to just set this guy on fire and hopefully deal with him that way. All right, we only need one piece of flint. Oh, I got one straight away. I built all of this tower for nothing. Have I got a shovel? I have. Let's use that. Right then, my pillagery friend, or I suppose not my friend, my pillagery enemy, you are going to be on fire in a moment. Let's get you burning. There we go. Burn. Burn. Why is it? The thing is, they're so broken. He's not remotely interested in me. There's no one else he could be interested in. But at least now he has been dealt with without causing a problem at my villager place. Now, I should have just about what it takes to be able to make all of the materials that I need. I had to go and pinch a little bit more iron from the community area. Just <laughs> half a stack of iron blocks. Shut up. No tiny one. But yeah, we can now get a few hoppers. We need a few chests. It's all going to be good. So we've got some chests. I think we can. I think we can make this little farm now. Right then, this little area up here is where we're going to have this little farm, and it couldn't be an easier little farm to make, so we're going to need to... Oh, my, look at my inventory. It's a terrible, terrible, my inventory. Oh, I didn't bring any dirt, but that's okay. We need to find the middle, which is roughly here, and we're going to put some blocks around there like that, which is, yeah, that's a good enough start, I think. There we go. Let's take a handful of slabs. Let's come back up here. There we go. That's going to make life a bit easier. So we want another dispenser there. With that block underneath, that actually needs to be dirt. And it needs to be tilled dirt, which means we're going to need a hoe. And I didn't bring a hoe. And that block there actually needs to have water in it, which means we're going to need another bucket of water. Oh, man. I'm just not prepared today, am I? There we go. That's those bits sorted out. We need to get our sticky piston over here like that. And on the back of that, we are... Oh, no. We need an observer. No, 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 no. I'm doing this wrong. One there and one there. We need one more hopper as well. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm just not doing a very good job here today, mate. We need a chest next to there. <laughs> not there. Not floating in space. Thank you. Oh, Wilf's back. Slight detour. No B today, though, Wilf. Where's your B? Where's your B? Not selling gold again, though. Diamonds. Always the diamonds, but no coal. I mean, we could do with some diamonds, but I don't really want to waste my cobble on diamonds. Oh, I didn't get an observer. I knew there was one more thing I needed. I thought I had everything. I'm just missing an observer. Right, that there. We're going to put an Ida frame there. We're going to put... We're going to hoe it. We're going to put a, the hoe in there. We're going to put our spare hopper there. We're going to put our bucket of water in there. We're going to put... Oh, we ain't got any bone meal on us. But we'll put bone meal in, though, soon. Now I need some slabs. 
Now what we need is an observer and some, we can do the redstone actually without the observer. So we're gonna need a repeater. Oh, we need the slabs to be bigger than this actually. Let's bring the slabs out a little bit more. Yeah, we're gonna need a repeater, basically firing into each one of these, but have I got enough redstone for this? Probably not. I think I had this problem when I was building this on my uh, stream the other day. Like that, there we go, that should do it. That should do it for the redstone. We just need an observer and a, oh no, we don't. No, I've done it wrong. I've done it wrong, I messed it up, guys. I've completely messed it up. We need a piece of redstone dust on top of there and we need a lever on the back of here. So we do need another piece of redstone and we need an observer. Well, that's the, that's the redstone all sorted out. That's those firing, we just need, yeah, the observer now. And I don't have quite enough redstone to make one. I'm sure we've got quartz kicking about somewhere. I've got plenty of cobble. There we go. There's not much of it. But I only need one. But I'm going to take two because I'll probably forget. Right, that's it. Oh, quartz. Quartz, quartz, quartz. Nether stuff. Yes, loads of quartz. We'll take, take a bit. Oh, observers, two redstone. Good job I took two then. I thought it was only one. Poof. Right, okay. So now we just want the observer facing into that redstone block like that and there we go this thing is ready to roll all we need now is some seeds or carrots or potatoes or sugar cane or basically pretty much anything that relies on bone meal so let's go grab our bone meal right so what are we going to feed them i guess seeds is probably going to be the easiest thing to do bread but i think we'll probably we might even get a better return on carrots and potatoes so i'll go and grab a potato or a carrot and we'll do those and then yeah we need our bones for our bone meal all right there we go those are all filling up nicely with bone meal bone meal there bone meal there and bone meal there the water is tilled all we gotta do is turn this thing on just flick that lever it's gonna go wild and i can't remember if we need a delay on the repeaters or not i don't think we do i think all i gotta do is stand in there without breaking the tilled dirt and place my carrots uh maybe we do Maybe we do. There we go. And now we're making carrots. We are multiplying our carrots. And yes, we could put a hopper underneath there and get them collected, but they're just going to go into our inventory. It's going to be absolutely fine. And we're just going to keep doing this until we've got loads and loads of carrots and we'll give them to our villagers or until our bone meal runs out, I guess. Well, it turns out that I had my redstone slightly wrong. We've actually only been firing off two dispensers, which just goes to prove we only need two dispensers for this. But to get it a little bit more accurate, a little bit more reliable, I like to use three dispensers for this, particularly with things that require three growth stages. And the, the problem was we had that redstone going there, which is not actually attached to anything. We need it going into that one. So what we're going to have to do is just change this around slightly. We're going to put a repeater there and a repeater there, a bit of redstone dust there and a bit of redstone dust there. We're going to move that repeater and we're going to put it there instead. So now we've got exactly the same thing going on, but each dispenser should actually fire now. So if we turn this back on, like so, we'll see we're getting, you can hear, hear the sound slightly different if I drop in there and now start. No, I don't want to eat the carrots. Let's eat the chicken then. Fine. Let's eat the chicken and let's start planting carrots. And now, oh, I've got to put them all on a tick of delay, haven't I? And I can't get out. There we go. No, nope. why can't I get out? There we go. One. Right. They're all on an alternate tick. So now let's do this. And there we go. We get fully grown carrots every single time. Now, this system will not waste bone meal. The bone meal will only actually fire from the dispenser if it's needed. So it'll only ever use as much bone meal as it can. If the carrots are fully grown, it won't bone meal them. It'll save the bone meal. And if there's nothing there, it won't bone meal. It'll save the bone meal. And it will only use the bone meal it needs. So all of these three dispensers, they're not always going to use a piece of bone meal. They only will if you need it. And you can, you can see, look, the puffs of particle smoke coming out occasionally. That means it's not using bone meal when that's firing. So it's very efficient, very efficient and very quick. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine, villager peeps. It is the morning. It's time to get out of bed and eat these tasty carrots and make me some lovely, lovely little villager babies, please. If you could get up, that would be very good. 
Okay, we are seriously on the baby making machine now. We've got two little baby villagers already. They're at it again. Now, we actually only need a handful of villagers, but we do need various different types of farmers and things like that in order to get lots and lots of different types of the new special items. Oh, look, I'm <laughs> like I'm wearing an apron or a penny or something. Okay, so according to my list, I'm going to need a toolsmith, a weaponsmith, a cleric, and a farmer. Now, we've already got a cleric and a farmer, and it looks like we've got the tools that we need to get a toolsmith and a weaponsmith. And also, a fisherman will give us heart. Uh, also, fisherman will give us hearts of the sea now as well. Not that we need those. So, yeah, we're going to have plenty of farmers and things here for all those sorts of good stuff. So, we don't need to really worry about making any more workstations right now. And now there is a cat and a compost. Of course, there is. That makes perfect sense. Right, well, while those guys are busy doing that, I'm going to sneak off, go and tidy up a few bits and bobs, and I'll be back, hopefully, when we'll have got some villagers growing up. Wilfred is back! Has he got anything that I can trade with? I brought my cobble. Have we got gold this time? Yes, we have. So let's grab a load of gold so we can pay back. We just need enough for two gold blocks. That's that. And what else have we got? We've got dirt, we've got podsole, we've got sand, clay... Brain coral blocks, prismarine sponges, emeralds. We don't really need emeralds. We don't need sea turtle eggs. We don't really need pumpkin seeds or beetroot seeds either, or sunflowers. Actually, a sunflower might not be a bad idea because then we can get more yellow dye very easily. Thank you very much. I'm going to go put this gold back where I got it from. I've paid back a little bit of what I've took now. So you go. I'm doing I'm doing the world a favour. Well, what a rabble we have here. We have got all of our villagers have grown up now. We've got a whole bunch of clerics and toolsmiths. And we haven't got any weaponsmiths, have we? We should have one weaponsmith, maybe. Which would be the weaponsmith? Somebody should have attached to ah, the anvil, but they won't because we've got two nitwits. But they're not called nitwits. They are called bit fiddlers. And look what they sell. They trade the bits that we've got, which apparently... <laughs> says ink sack on it they sell those for basically yeah lots of different blocks and when you level them up they get really high level and look the second level is vip i wonder what the third level would be let's see if we can get some levels on these guys we've got another one here which is absolutely amazing now that is that the same cobblestone diorite andesite granite sandstone and you are yeah it's the same well okay that's good but yeah, our clerics and our toolsmiths and things like that should be a little bit different. But we've probably got... We need more than one farmer. I don't actually think we need more than one cleric or toolsmith. So I might take away a couple of these and try and encourage somebody to actually uh, yeah, join in with the uh, the other anvil. The, the weaponsmith one. Let's take away that one there. Sorry about that, sir. And let's take away that one there. Very good. That should encourage some uh, swapping about. Right, now I'm going to go and get some bits and see if we can do some bit trading. And in my interest, I've been saving a few bits. I don't have very many, but there is. And I just, I didn't actually think about this when I made the pack. But there is a way we can get, like, loads and loads of bits really easily. And I really should have thought this through. And it's basically the bone meal in two tall flowers. Or any flowers, really. Or uh, also, like, fortune. And if you fortune two tall flowers, you get more back than you, than you planted. So that's like a way to get infinite bits for free. Which is fine, but it might mean that we are a little bit OP in terms of the resources. All of a sudden, we can now get, like, infinite resources. Because the good thing about the bit fiddlers is they don't require a workstation, which means that they don't need to restock. So they have practically limitless trades. Uh, so let's just turn all of those flowers into lots and lots of bits. Look at all these bits we've got. We've got millions of bits. Now let's go and see what the bit trader will give us for our bits. Will you, or the, the bit fiddler, sorry, will you fiddle my bits into something worth having? So I can trade any colour for cobblestone. So basically, although it says ink sack there for some reason, any colour I can trade for cobblestone and get as much cobblestone as they want, which now means that I can trade with the wandering trader and get pretty much anything I want from the wandering trader, which is great. So that's levelled up the bit fiddler a little bit. And let's stick a load more in there. Let's get some more cobblestone. Now you can see it is four bits for two cobblestone, which is a pretty good deal, really. I've almost run out of bits and I haven't got a full stack yet, so it's going to take a little bit of time, but it's not that difficult to get bits once you've got a mob farm. And when I unlock levels beyond that, it's going to get even better. So these, the bit fiddlers, actually will go up to 
In fact, let's go over to a creative world and look at it. Oh man, I'm not me. It's weird when I'm not me. So coming over to our planes biome testing world where I do all of the tests for this, we will see that our bit fiddler is asleep. If I wake him up now and we look in his inventory, my game shouldn't crash, hopefully. You can see he goes from basic, which is the lowest rank in my Discord, funnily enough, up to VIP, which is the second rank in my Discord, up to friend. Then he goes to expert level 99, and these trades will vary depending on what bit fiddler, bit fiddler you've got. So these trades that you will get will vary. And then once you get that back past that, you get to master level 100. And that will allow you to trade eight of wool for any bit to make it any other color. So we can put any type of wool in there. It doesn't have to just be white. So if I grab some, let's say red wool, let's grab a bunch of red wool. Let's put that in my inventory. Wake up you, sleepy head. And I put that in there with some green bits. Oh, hang on a minute. I need to go down to the, the wool trade so that I can actually open that one up. Oh, he's not unlocked that bit yet hang on then let's unlock him a little bit further so now if we click on that i you see i've got my red wool in there and i can change it to any of the other colors i've got now if i open him up again he should actually get the second slot there we go he's now got the second slot if i put red wool in there with green i can trade any type of wool for that and it only cost me the eight wool and one bit for that which is great then after the level of the master level 100, if we keep trading him up, he will go to Godly and he will trade four bits for any type of hardened terracotta. I wonder if there's any more levels beyond that. Let's find out. Let's see if we can trade him up a little bit more. Let's keep trading. There we go. We've gone up to level six. We are now at the Godly level, so we can trade any type of bit for any type of terracotta. So we can get as much terracotta as we want, providing we've got the bits for it. And you get bits from killing passive an uh, from animals and mobs. So if you've got a mob farm or a passive mob farm, you're going to get bits over time. Then, once he's gone up from Godly, he becomes the crazed trader. And he will trade any color of bit for all of the different concrete powders you can get. So you can get concrete from this guy. It's not hardened concrete. It is concrete powder, so you're still going to have to wet it. But he is now a maxed level crazed trader and he will fiddle your bits into any of these colored things so he's absolutely amazing so that is what we're hopefully going to be heading for on our on the patron realm so that's what we're heading for the reason we want the clerics and stuff like that is not to do with bits that's for some other things that we want to be trading but yeah these bit fiddlers we're going to need as many bits as possible to get them unlocked and get them up to those high trades now it is going to take some unlocking because they do have quite they do require quite a lot of xp to level up that much but we will get there and the way we're going to get there is by building a mob farm but not any old mob farm not any old mob farm we're going to be building a very very good mob farm and we're going to be getting some very very good stuff but not today not today sadly we don't have time to do that today so we will do that in the future but for now i would like to say thank you all very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did do please leave, leave a like if you haven't already please do subscribe and hopefully i'll see you all in the next one bye